The Insect Pain Sting Index. Well, it's no secret by now that there's such a thing out there. In fact, one scientist by the name of Justin Schmidt had done several years worth of research on studying the pain of different stinging insects around the world. They estimate that this one man sustained stings from over 70 different species of stinging insects. And from my line of work, knowing firsthand just how amazing of a feat that actually is, this man was truly dedicated to his craft. However, did y'all know there were 9,000 species of ants, 20,000 species of bees, and 800 species of stinging wasps? So as far as I'm concerned, there's still a long way to go to be able to understand each and every one of these different stinging insects. And I must say, I don't think that's a feat that any individual could possibly accomplish in their lifetime. These insects range the entire world. These insects are located on just about every continent around the entire world with the exception of Antarctica. And some of these insects are quite formidable opponents, something that would be in your nightmares. I'm not the kind of guy to travel around seeking pain, but I do want to know the variation of pain on some of the insects in my own area, Florida. So I'm going to work my way up the insect pain sting index, just as a few handful of others have done in the past. Many of these insects have never been documented or tested, so it's really just going to be a bit of a surprise for everybody. In that process, we're going to create something brand new. The Insect Danger Guide. That's going to give us a ranking for as far as how dangerous each individual insect species is based on a series of different attributes each colony or insect individual possesses. And when it's all said and done, we're going to have a ranking scale from 1 to 10 as far as how dangerous each individual insect species is based on a combination of all the different attributes each colony possesses, such as the size of the colony, the percentage of insects that will actually sting, the immediate pain from an insect sting, the duration of the pain, the irritation such as itching or burning, the location of the insect colony. Is it in a tree? Is it under a house? Is it under the ground? The likelihood a person would encounter that insect colony. The likelihood an insect species would actually sting a person. Is it an aggressive species or is it a relatively docile species? And what are the long lasting or damaging effects of that sting? The first ants that you saw right at the introduction were just the big head ants. Those big head ants don't actually have any sting but they do have some serious mandibles on them and while they're pinching actually feels a little bit like a sting. This is the second big head ant colony that I approached and went ahead and tested the sting and pain on these as well. Too much the same result. No sting, just a little bit of bite. This colony seemed to have less of those soldier ants than the first colony did, so I didn't sustain nearly as many bites either. So let me explain how this works. In order to rank the pain of an insect sting, there have to be different characteristics that you can put a number on in order to average out and create an overall number to rank each and every sting. Probably the most common and yet non-native to Florida of all the stinging insects is the red imported fire ant. Now that's called the Solenopsis invicta. And probably one of the most terrifying things about this species of insect is its sheer numbers. These guys form huge colonies and attack at the slightest movement or touch to their colony. If one worker ant detects the most minor disturbance to the colony, it will send out a pheromone and put the whole entire colony on high alert. Getting stung by this insect is very common. In fact, it's probably less common to get stung by a single insect than several from a single colony. However, I just wanted to experience the overall effects of a sting from a single insect so I can compare it to the sting of single insects elsewhere. All right, so I've decided that I want to try to show everybody kind of, wow, those guys came out fast. Just kind of show everybody the progression of insect stings in Florida. This insect sting could perhaps be the least painful of all the insect stings, but the problem with the fire ant is, like we said before, you're more likely to get attacked by several than just one. Now, initially, there's quite a bit of burning sensation. It's almost like a small ember had landed on your contact area, and it feels like you got burned slightly. Just a few minutes later, swelling starts to form. And as the insect's venom starts to travel throughout your body, 
the burning sensation turns into more of an itching sensation, and the tendency to want to scratch it is almost irresistible. In fact, many times these insect stings are over-exaggerated by the amount of scratching that is created afterwards. All right, so we're 10 minutes in. The itching in many cases can last up to a whole day. However, in my case, it was only around three hours. After a full day had passed, the irritation went away, but it left a nice little pustule on my hand that was so tempting to just want to pop. Those are the overall damaging effects caused by the insect's venom. In all, this fire ant species may not have the most painful sting in the world. In fact, it's only a 1.2 on the Schmidt Pain Sting Index. However, the size of these colonies are very large and their distribution and range is quite large and seems to be spreading, making its way through most of the southeastern United States. This insect species can be found in just about anybody's house or yard, so the likelihood of encountering this insect is quite large. In fact, like we said before, it's more likely you'd be stung by several of these insects than just one. And in some unfortunate circumstances, people have suffered enough bites to put them into anaphylactic shock, and there have been fatalities. So this makes us somewhat of a risky insect, especially to those who are allergic to its sting. The ranking for this insect on the insect danger scale is a five. Thanks for watching this episode of The Great Outdoors. I'm your host, Alexander. Make sure you press that like button if you liked it or find it educational and feel free to share it. Also, make sure you subscribe and tune in for future videos. We do a lot of snake videos and insects and creepy crawlies. This is the rough green snake.